Against the effects of toxic chemicals, the protective mask has always been the most important piece of individual equipment. It fully protects the delicate respiratory tract. But there are several chemicals which have a percutaneous effect. By absorption through the skin, they can cause casualties or even death. Nerve agents are so toxic that a very small amount of the liquid in contact with the skin can have a casualty effect. For these, the protective mask alone is not sufficient. The whole body must be protected with specially treated combat clothing. After exposure to chemical attack, even though protective clothing and masks are worn, further precautionary action may be necessary to prevent casualties. For this purpose, an individual decontamination and treatment kit has been developed. A dusting bag contains a decontaminating chemical and also a small capsule of agent indicating dye. By crushing and kneading, the capsule is broken and the dye indicator is intimately mixed with the dusting powder. The decontaminating powder will neutralize small droplets and aerosols of nerve agent. At the same time, the presence of larger drops will be quickly revealed by a color change of the dye indicator. Small metal patches are provided to seal off these spots of gross contamination so as to prevent any possibility of the nerve agent penetrating through the clothing to the skin. The decontaminant is also applied to pieces of individual equipment to prevent secondary contamination which might result from handling the equipment. Blotting cloths are provided for removing any of the liquid agent which may have splashed on the skin. The affected skin area is then swabbed with a small bag of decontaminating material which has been moistened with water. This individual decontamination and treatment kit is effective in neutralizing mustard as well as the nerve agents. No change has been made in the method of impregnating outer garments of protective clothing, but the protective underwear has been vastly improved over the World War II type, which was uncomfortable to wear and often caused skin irritation. Developed in coordination with the Quartermaster Research and Development Center, it is a soft textured, lightweight cotton fabric treated with high car and gives good protection against chemical agents. Its protective property is not diminished by perspiration. 